Welcome back to Amara Terracotta. Today we are going to make a traditional Palakya necklace. For that we will require molds like these. These are silicon molds. Let's start making the bead first. We will grease the mold, place the desired amount of clay, press it gently and demold it. This is the first bead which we have made. We will have to make 22 beads in total. 2 for the earrings and 20 for the necklace. Now take a needle tool like this and mark the ends through which we are going to pierce the hole. So we are going to mark the ends, we are not piercing the hole, just marking on both the ends of the bead through which the string is going to pass through. Repeat it with all the beads. Now we'll take a safety pin and pierce the hole. We'll just pass it through the markings which we have made. Repeat it with all the beads except the earring beads. Now I've taken some ball head pins here. I'm going to cut, reduce the length of this uh, ball pins. So you'll have to cut it like this and keep. So for one bead we'll require five of these. Four I'm going to insert it on the top like this. And the fifth one I'm going to attach it at the tip of the bead like this. So this is how our bead is going to look like. We'll have to repeat it with all the beads, including the earring bead. Once we attach it, you can take a safety pin and again pierce the holes. Just move the safety pin through it so that to make sure that the holes are not blocked. Once done, we'll keep it for drying and we'll start making the pendant. For the pendant, we'll require a mold like this. Press it gently and demold it and this is how the necklace pendant is going to look like. We'll attach head ball pins like we did for the beads to the pendant as well. Here I'm using six head ball pins. Once done, we're going to attach drop beads to the pendant. We can attach this ball pins only to terracotta air dry clay as it doesn't require baking. Now we'll just pierce the hole just like we did for the bead. Mark both ends and pass it through using a safety pin. Now this is how our necklace looks. After it's dried, I've colored it in silver. And then I've colored it in blue. I've made two colors, lavender as well as blue. And this is the final look of the necklace once it's worn. Thank you. Goodbye.